I noticed that my chili pepper plants were being eaten, and not by simple caterpillars, but by a much more dangerous and hard to control pest. As I watched the culprit, something behind me seemed to move. What I was witnessing was truly fascinating. A parasitic wasp had managed to drag a huge wolf spider out of its burrow and capture it. These wasps have exceptional eyesight and had spotted me just as I was about to approach and film them. They are always alert creatures and, although harmless to humans, are natural predators of spiders. Their speed and paralyzing sting make them extremely efficient and precise hunters. Parasitic wasps are not only remarkable for their hunting precision, but also for their astonishing behavior after capturing prey. They transport the spiders to their burrows or underground nests, carefully placing them in chambers specifically prepared for laying their eggs. The spider, paralyzed yet still alive, serves as a fresh food supply for the larvae when they hatch, ensuring optimal development. Interestingly, some species can select the exact nest location based on humidity and temperature, factors that maximize the survival of their offspring, showcasing a level of planning and specialization rarely seen in insects. I find it fascinating to watch how the wasp carries the spider, gripping it by its chelicerae, the hardest part of its body, demonstrating an instinctive knowledge of where it can hold securely and efficiently to transport it safely to its nest. I decided to return to continue observing these fascinating creatures with bulging eyes and distinctive faces that had invaded my chili pepper plants. Known as katydids, they appear during the hottest two months of summer feeding intensively to build up energy and lay eggs continuously before the season ends. They are everywhere, invading every corner of the field. Their sound, similar to that of cicadas, is produced by two tiny wings located on the top of their abdomen, whose sole function is to generate this characteristic call. However, no creature is exempt from danger. Despite their size and omnivorous diet, katydids must stay alert as other species watch and keep them in check within their environment. Although often mistaken for grasshoppers, katydids are practically their opposite. Their reproductive strategy is unique. Females lay eggs coated in a white foam expelled from their abdomen which hardens upon contact with air, protecting the eggs from predators, parasites, and harsh environmental conditions. Unlike grasshoppers, their hind legs are not specialized for long jumps, making them slower and clumsier in movement. Interestingly, many katydid species exhibit such perfect camouflage that even when motionless on dry or green leaves, they can remain completely unnoticed by predators. Their appetite is so voracious that katydids will feed on almost anything, including leaves, flowers, small insects, and even members of their own species when opportunities arise, a behavior known as opportunistic cannibalism that helps them survive during periods of food scarcity. Among the favorite plants of these insects, other creatures take advantage of any opportunity. Here we observe a tiger spider alongside its male, the size difference is striking as the male is much smaller and rarely hunts on its own, relying instead on prey that falls into the female's web for sustenance. In this environment, nothing is safe from danger. Observe this remarkable moment. A tiger spider, perfectly camouflaged among the lentisk shrubs, displays exceptional skill and speed in both handling its web and preparing its prey. Any creature that collides with its threads becomes trapped, and their appearance perfectly coincides with the peak activity of katydids, making encounters frequent and strategically advantageous for the spider. Many of the katydids, when moving from one plant to another after consuming an entire one, find themselves confronted by these lurking spiders. The Argiope lobata, known as the tiger spider, constructs highly precise and resilient orb webs, 
with a radial pattern reinforced by thicker threads for added stability. These webs are not only used to capture flying and jumping prey, such as katydids, but also allow the spider to detect the slightest vibration, pinpointing the exact location of any insect that contacts the threads. Argiope lobata has powerful chelicerae, capable of quickly immobilizing its prey through a bite, followed by wrapping it in silk, ensuring the food is securely held while it is processed. This behavior demonstrates a combination of mechanical precision and evolutionary adaptation that few spider species achieve, explaining why these spiders are such effective predators in their ecosystem. Among the plants, another predator watches patiently, studying every movement of its prey, the praying mantis. This insect, known for its characteristic praying posture, is an extremely efficient predator thanks to its binocular vision and large compound eyes, which allow it to perceive depth and accurately calculate the distance to its prey. Its front legs are adapted to quickly and firmly capture insects, using spines to immobilize the victim before consumption. The praying mantis not only hunts using its natural camouflage among leaves and branches, but it can also rotate its head nearly 180 degrees to monitor its surroundings and detect potential threats or prey from any angle. Additionally, some species exhibit selective hunting behaviors, choosing prey based on size and risk, demonstrating a level of adaptability and efficiency that makes it one of the most fascinating predators in the terrestrial ecosystem. In the higher areas of the forest, another creature takes center stage during these hot days, the cicada, whose characteristic and deafening song fills the summer air. These insects spend most of their lives underground as nymphs, feeding on the sap from the roots of various trees and plants providing the nutrients they need to grow and develop over several years before emerging. Upon reaching the surface, they molt and become adults, dedicating their time primarily to reproduction and attracting mates through their powerful stridulation, produced by specialized organs called timbals located in the abdomen. Their song, besides attracting potential mates, can also signal their presence to other cicadas and indirectly influence the behavior of nearby predators and insects. Though they may seem vulnerable due to their size and noisy activity, their life cycle and adaptation to the environment make them essential protagonists in the ecosystem, providing food for birds, spiders, and other predators while fulfilling a crucial role in forest dynamics. Near this area, I came across a small abandoned wasp nest whose survival seemed destined to fail as it had fallen from the trees. I decided to collect it, care for it, and protect it for a while to study it, with the intention of later returning it to a safe location. When a wasp nest is young and contains only the queen or a few individuals, the wasps are not aggressive. Despite having a stinger, they rarely use it defensively. Their diet mainly consists of sweet substances, such as nectar and sap, which provide the energy needed to keep the queen and workers active, as well as to incubate and feed their larvae. Additionally, these wasps use other insects as food for their offspring. They hunt small prey, paralyze it with their venom, and transport it back to the nest, where it is deposited alongside the larvae. The development of the larvae usually takes between two and three weeks, depending on the species and temperature. Surprisingly, when they emerge, the young wasps are almost the same size as the adults, though they lack the strength and skill of their mothers. Few people know that some wasp species have remarkable visual memory. They can recognize faces, identify other members of their colony, and remember the location of food sources, which allows them to optimize their movements and resource collection. Thanks to these cognitive abilities, even a small nest can survive and thrive for weeks, provided it is protected from predators and environmental hazards. During my time caring for this small nest, I observed their behavior in great detail, how the queen inspects her home, how the workers feed the larvae, and how all of them coordinate calmly and efficiently to maintain the integrity of the colony despite their small size and apparent vulnerability. As the days passed, I continued observing the small wasp nest, and their behavior became increasingly fascinating. The queen remained calm and surprisingly gentle, moving slowly and deliberately as she inspected her nest. I made sure to provide enough protein-rich food for the developing larvae, allowing them to grow quickly and stay healthy. With each passing day, it was incredible to see how much they changed. The larvae became stronger, more active, and more responsive to the care provided by the queen. Their movements became more coordinated, and their reactions to environmental stimuli more precise, revealing the innate abilities of these tiny yet highly capable insects. 
Eventually, the first new worker wasps began to emerge, completing the initial growth phase of the colony. These young workers, although smaller than fully mature individuals, immediately took on responsibilities within the nest, feeding the next generation of larvae and assisting the queen. Observing this development firsthand was both humbling and enlightening. I witnessed how a tiny, seemingly fragile nest could become a fully functional colony through meticulous care, cooperation, and natural instincts. Each day brought new insights into their social structure, problem-solving abilities, and the subtle ways the queen and her workers interact to ensure the colony's survival and expansion. In the early days of the colony, activity may seem limited, but every gesture of the queen and the few workers has a purpose, to keep the brood safe and lay the foundations for future organization. As new workers are born, the social structure becomes richer and more diverse. Some focus on gathering nectar and prey, others dedicate themselves to cleaning and repairing the nest, while a few explore the surroundings, learning routes and hazards that the colony will need to know for survival. What is most impressive is that these wasps possess uncommon cognitive abilities. They can recognize elements of their environment, remember routes, identify intruders, and distinguish their nestmates even in complex and changing spaces. Thanks to this ability, the colony optimizes larval feeding and distributes tasks in a way that every action directly benefits the survival of the group. Watching these wasps interact is like observing a living system of almost mechanical precision. Each insect knows when to act, how to respond, and what decision to make, forming a social web where cooperation, learning, and communication are intricately intertwined, demonstrating that the life of these small societies is full of strategy and sophistication.